to film what my rock kit looks like. Um, and again, if you look in the schedule, you're only responsible for um, exercise two. Exercise one includes um, this little packet, and we're not going to do that. We're going to do exercise two. And when you open, open up your rock kit, what you're going to see is you should see A, B, C, D, E, and F. And those are your igneous rocks. And then you have G, H, I, um, J, K, L, which then are your sedimentary rocks. And then you have M, N, O, P, Q, R, which then are your metamorphic rocks. So you're looking at where it says rock kits. Um, this would be for lab five. Um, and so here you are in um, exercise two. And so you're going to fill out and also turn in the... Uh, the igneous rock identification. So you're also gonna fill out this table five and submit. Um, so if we go over here, again, I'm in lab five, and you'll go to your igneous rocks for lab five, and you'll go through all of their slides, and then you go to the assignments and procedures. We're not gonna do exercise one, so you can download, ex download exercise two, and then download your Word doc and open up the Word doc. And then here, all that you're responsible for, for filling in and turning in, would be the, uh, the table five igneous rock identification that you'll fill out here, the color, the mafic, and then the actual rock name, A through F. And then that's what you will submit in Blackboard. Um, You'll do the lab five exercise questions and then you'll submit um, the exercise two data sheet right here. Uh, and I need to put table five in that so there's no confusion. So that is table five um, here. And I haven't heard that anybody is missing their igneous rock kit. So I just wanted to go over A through F is what you'll be responsible for there. You're going to pick it up. The first thing you want to look at it, decide what the texture is. Um, and if you can see the crystals, then it's phaneritic or it's coarse grained. If you can't, it's fine grained and um, aphanitic. And that's what this is. It's fine grained aphanitic. So, um, Again, when you had downloaded your procedures, so let's take a look at that. So whenever you download the cookbook procedures, examine the igneous rocks A through F, determine if it's light or dark. Um, and if it's dark colored, it's mafic. If it's light, it would be felsic. Then you would decide what the, the, the texture is going to be. And we could use this right here. Um, so if it's aphanitic, you can't see the grains, but this one's actually dark colored, so up here's the mafic color index, so lights are felsic and darks are mafic. So A for sure is gonna be aphanitic, and um, it's gonna fall in right here, and we know then it's composed, the rock is here, and that rock is composed of these minerals, pyroxene and the felsic minerals, but you'll get the rock off of here. If it's fine grained, it's aphanitic. If it's coarse grained, it's phaneritic. And then um, pegmatitic, super coarse grained. If you've got two crystal sizes, it's a phenocryst or what we call a porphyry, large and small. Um, if it is glassy, then it's straight to obsidian. If it's vesicular with little bubbles in it, it's either pumice or scoria, or you might have some pyroclastic, which would be tough. So pretty much that's how you use that. You decide what the color is. So your A is a darker color. We do not have any pritatite or uh, um, pegmatitic pritatite or comatite in the box. So it's gonna put us here. And then we know the thing is aphanitic that you can't see it. So bada bang, you get the rock name and then the minerals are here. So that should help you with 
uh, lab five igneous rocks. Let me know if you've got any questions.